I don't know who's more stupider, you or your friend Patrick. Pressing the big red button in Plankton's laboratory and sending us an unknown universe. Well, why? This isn't mine or Patrick's fault. Plankton was planning to see the Krabby Patty formula for the umpton time. That dimensional teleporting thingy that he made could have caused serious destruction to Bikini Bottom. It's thanks to me and Patrick that our home world is safe. Uh, SpongeBob, aren't you forgetting that I helped you and Patrick face down Plankton and his mechanical beast of a giant? I was flying around kicking butt, and all you and Patrick were doing were running in circles, screaming in panic. It was a distraction. I don't believe you. You two were literally in fear of getting killed by a robotic giant, and then you and Patrick started pressing random buttons, causing this predicament to happen. Seriously, where are we? A desert. A planet, a desert planet. Maybe we're in David Hasselhoff's basement. I'd rather not know about that last part. Look, Danny! Light could be a small town. Better check it out. Hit a move on SpongeBob. I'm coming, I'm coming. Hold your seizures. You delay, he who? Quit it. Sorry. Shush, we don't know who lives here. Just stay quiet and follow my lead. Okie dokie. Who goes there? I there. Or we've got lost and we're just wondering where we are. Nowhere. Nowhere. You mean complete emptiness. Barren lands and no light to be seen for a thousand miles. No strange creature. Nowhere is the name of our town. Yes, we have people here. But they were hiding. They were frightened. Frightened? From what? Nexus. Or what is Nexus? Yo, I like to know what this Nexus is. I am Nexus. <laughs> Gentlemen, I leave you trespassing in my domain. If you don't move now, you will be displaced. Displaced? You mean sapped into another realm or dimension thingy? Why should we move because we don't know where to begin with them? Yep, what he said. Nice work, Danny. Gentlemen, I am the master of this reality and I can change the smallest details like a skim stone in seconds. So I ask you, again, please leave my domain, or you, displaced. Fat chance. Very well then, you pathetic idiots. You will be displaced and I hope you will perish in hell like the rest of these people who cross me. Say in our boys. I thought you said hell was coming. They must have been dropped by what's his face. Oh, him, it's so here who believes to this universe. Exactly. Hey guys, look what I found. Stimpy, that's just a rock. It ain't any old standard rock. It's a rock rock that I called Fred or is it Penelo? I can't decide if it's a boy or a girl. Maybe both, though I wish Bren was here. He'll have an answer. I'm starting to give up on this maze. How are the casualties, Japs? Still unconscious, Mr. Thornberry. I've got a rock, Mr. Thornberry. I called him Fred. Very good, Stimson. Don't worry, chaps. Those two will awake when the time comes. Me and Doc have returned from the adventure. Look. Anything you can found? Nothing, absolutely nothing. Yes, it seems that Saucer and Nix has dumped us into a sort of purgatory. Well, that's welcoming to say the least. Jellyfish fields. Wait, what? Krabby Patties. One of them is trying to wake up. Amity Park. That makes two. Yes, come on, chaps. Let's give them a little space. My head. Hey, hello, are you guys? Yeah, I wanted to know too. Well, gentlemen, my name is Nigel from Bear. Over here are Mr. Rocker Walden, Miss Jenny Wakeman, Mr. Stimson Jagat, and Mr. Dog Funny. Pleased to meet you all. My name is SpongeBob SquarePants, and is my partner in crime, Danny Phantom. We've been on a few adventures facing our mortal enemies, crab people, killer two bots, and recently a mass gas slime club in Mayan. Yeah, we've been through a lot. Say, do you know if Jimmy Neutron and Timmy Turner are here too? You forget to mention Tack and Sim as well, Danny. Well, I'm sorry, chaps, but there only seems to be us here. Haven't seen a Mr. Neutron or Turner across our paths. It seems a little weird, but they're the lucky ones, I guess. I take it you two come across that sorcerer. Yes, his name is Nexus and apparently he owns the place. Hang on a second, has a name and it's called Nexus. He didn't tell his name when we hunted him. Hang on, Rocco, I was thought yours when we arrived. Now it's with two others, on all the tummy. So there are a couple more here. The question is where are they? I think I can help you a lot to find your missing friends. What? what? Heavens! I wish people would stop doing that. If you want my help, we need to get a move on. Just hang on a minute, sir. Who are you? You are not another version of Nexus. 
are you? So this is all he's doing? Taking random beings out of dimensions and playing them pieces on a chessboard. Can you just tell us who you are and why are we here? Okay, my name is Brunner, a sorcerer same as Nexus and I'm planning to take him down for what he's done to our domain. So you and Nexus were like best buds, then it then all fell apart. No, he's my brother. Well, things took a serious turn. If you're a brother and you want to pay him, eh? Exactly. What he's been doing is outright obscene. He exiled me off this world and turned it into a twisted sand pit for his own pleasure. I can help you get your friends and then free all of you. What are we waiting for, chaps? Let's save Arnold and Tommy before it's too late. Right then, I need you all to hold hands and we'll beat you. Oh, Stimpy, your hand is sweaty. How can you tell if you are a robot? Really quit it? This is kind of fun. All we need to do is sing a fun song. Don't get any ideas, SpongeBob. I'm in singing like we worship us to God. Right, we're all set. Ready when you are a brother. Okay then, close your eyes and take a deep breath. Well, cool, just like that we're here. I say, that's very impressive, brother. Wait, so you live in a castle? Funny looking chandeliers. No, it cannot be. He's altered the family dynasty. Everything is different. Because we need to hurry. I need to stop Nixus before anything else happens. Let's go, guys. We need to save Arnold and Tommy. Then put a stop to this sibling rivalry. Be careful. Look like this place can alter its architecture freely. We be out of any moving doors, walls, anything. I'll meet you when I see you. Will to Brunner. Look after yourself. Come on, let's go. Arden, can you go and check on the prisoners? Yes, my master. Don't be long, you wretched old fool. This sucks. Hope we'll be free soon. Agreed, we can't be living in bird cages for the rest of our lives. Look, here comes that servant of Nexus. Hello, boys, just checking in. Can you let us out, please? I'm afraid not, otherwise my master will destroy me. Destroy you? You were just a slave to him, poking you with a long wooden stick like some dance monkey. I have to serve my master, otherwise my death will loom over me. Arnold, he might be on a sunlight conditioning program to serve his master. I think you're right, Tommy. That's enough, boys. I must leave and return to my master. Oh, I guess we're stuck here, Altoin. Not exactly, chaps. Yes, Tommy. Help us here. Oh, good. Don't worry, guys. No guards around. All we need to do is open this hatch. Right, has anyone got a screwdriver or a spoon I can borrow? Yeah. That works too. We're here to set you free. And I get you too. Rocco, I knew you'd show up. What happened to you? Nick sent me somewhere else. I meet these guys. We've met his brother Bill and he's taking revenge on him. Well, this is going to be a complicated situation. Guys, I can hear footsteps. We gotta hide. And we can take down what is coming. You'll be next to Servant coming down. Quickly hang. Oh god, now the prisoners have escaped. What should say to my master? You won't be saying anything to master at this rate. Seize him. Ouch. Unhand me, you idiots. Sir, you are going to be instructed to take us to Nexus. And if I refuse? Let's just say we've got a different way of persuasion. Like good cop, bad cop. She means brute for Stinky. All right. All right, I'll take you to Nexus. Okay then, let's go. Just one problem, guys. Maybe two. Where's the door in the hatch we came from? Say yes, Brana did that this place reconfigures itself. Well, just to have luck for a door. Or maybe. Hey guys, I found it in the middle of floor. Excellent. Right, let's go through it. This dimension stuff is making me, you see. Yeah, right. Me too. Where are we? Nexus throne room. It's a bit creepy looking. An empty. Gentlemen, so good you visit and you've brought company. Hand over Odin. He belongs to me. Yeah, sure. We don't want him. I think not. Excuse me, guys. I need to handle this. Bruno, unfortunate swine. How was you? It must have been a well-deserved occasion that you were asking for. You mean dumping me on a asteroid in space for millennial? Very unpleasant and cold. What have you done to this place? I just given it something modern people would say. A little tea. I see. What have you done to Odian, our caretaker? He knew too much. I rejigged parts of his brain. 
and now he works for me, just what I say. You monster, you just want power over everything. You killed our parents because they wouldn't grant you it, then you exiled me to be out of the picture. I was trying to protect you. If you stayed, you'll probably be deadly. The rest of them, trying to convince me not to have this glorious power. The power to alter reality itself. Brother, are consumed with power and without choice I have to stop you. Very well then. I've got one thing to do first, Odin. Your services are no longer required. No. Stop us, stop us now. Come on team, we must stop him. No. You all stay here. It's my business and I don't want you all getting killed. Don't be ridiculous, brother. Chaps, let's charge you. Yeah, let's rock and roll. I said no. Brother, what are you doing? Cut it out, brother. We're here to help you defeat Nexus. Gee, what gives? I'm using my powers to send you goes home. You shouldn't be here in the first place, and this is my battle. Are you insane? We want to fight alongside you. You can't handle him on your own. I'll be okay. Farewell and stay safe. Brother, you. Guess where are we? A white food, it seems. Chops, I think reality has fallen through it. Looks like it. We can't get back to our home worlds. We'll be stuck here for the foreseeable. Right, we need to set a camp, Arnold. You get the firewood, I'll round up food supplies, and the rest of you try not to kill each other. Simpson, you idiot. There's nothing. Absolutely nothing. What do you expect to be here? A palm tree with coconuts. Or, the girls, you can eat buffet. Oh, quick, I thread my pet rock survive. I knew you would come to my head. I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna kill that cat. What, well, Jenny? Hang on a sec. Get over here. I just sweat to talk to you. No, Jenny. Hold still. I'll see you stop, stop squirming. Let me get that fat Mommy. blue nose of yours. Mommy. Well, our only hope is to wait. You like for a thousand years. Hang in there, chop. Something must happen if we're in here. Apart from Jenny and Stimpy kicking butt out of each other. Well, at least it's some entertainment. I didn't know this place had a son. That ain't a song, Rocco. Looks like it's getting bigger. And brighter. Chops, chill yourselves. Bullshit, man, this game sucks. Why did you recommend this? It was free to download from Steam. Why don't you give it a shot? Let's just finish up the recording.